Hi, I'm Brian with Moultrie, and today we're going to talk about some of the accessories we have to help trick out your deer feeder. The first of those accessories is the metal feeder feet. The feeder feet actually snap right into the Moultrie feeder legs, gives it a wider base to stop it from sinking into the ground, and we also supply the metal stake to prevent the feeder from tipping over, especially if you have hogs in the area. The next accessory we're going to talk about is our metal spin plate and funnel kit. Now, kits like our Deer Feeder Pro came with a plastic spin plate. We've already gone ahead and replaced that on here. It has four ports, so it'll actually feed the same rate in half the time. Additionally, it's all metal construction, so it's corrosion resistant in case you do have a mineral content in your food, as well as any types of varmints like squirrels that like to chew on plastic, this would prevent that. And while we're talking about squirrels, we do have our varmint guard. Now the varmint guard can be used universally, so you could actually mount it to a 55 gallon drum if you wanted. But then we also have predetermined mounting spots and any of our quick lock feeders have the holes already preset on the bottom. So you can actually mount that right to the bottom of the feeder. And what it does is it keeps the varmints, your raccoons, your squirrels, far enough away from that spin plate that they can't get in and get to that food. Now, as you're sitting here looking at our feeder, you're gonna see there's things bolted all over this thing. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that there's three extra screws that come with your feeders and they're quarter 20s. And those will actually mount up through these holes right here in your lid. They do have a purpose. Now, if you want to mount a game camera on there, the female adapter on our uh, Moultrie game cameras, like this M-Series we have here, will actually accept that screw. But what you'll notice is we've already factored in the pitch of that lid to allow that camera that downward angle to get the best image. A couple of the other accessories that we have here is our feeder power panel. So what this will actually do is it'll power your feeder kit without even needing a battery on board the kit itself. So it has included inside underneath the solar panel, a six volt rechargeable battery. And what that'll do is it, this solar panel will actually recharge that battery and it'll power your kit off this five foot cord. So whether you want to mount it right here on the feeder or if you even want to get a little bit higher to get maximum sunlight, that cord will give you plenty of distance. So I've taken our feeder kit off of our feeder and you're probably wondering, what is this wire? Well, this wire is actually the antenna to our feeder activator. If I pop this cover off, our feeder activator receiver actually is sitting on top of our battery with alligator clips coming into the power source. So that's what's actually going to trigger the motor itself to turn on. Then we also have the remote control. Now this is the sending unit. So if I push this button, it'll actually run that spin plate for five seconds from up to 300 feet away. Another great accessory we have is our hog light, our feeder hog light. It mounts very easily right to the bottom of any of our quick lock feeder kits by just spinning it on here. And it replaces the nut that comes on the kits. Now it operates on a photo cell. So once it gets dark out, there's three settings. You have on, where it would stay on all night. You have dusk, which will actually turn on for two hours at night, or there's motion. So once it gets dark out, if it senses a motion underneath of it, it'll actually turn the lights on. There's 35 super bright green LEDs, and it'll project out to 30 feet depending on your feeder height. These are just a few of the great accessories we have at Moultrie. For more information, check us out at MoultriePeeders.com.